Okay, in this video, I want to talk about what is your uniform, your ideal daily attire. What do you usually wear and why? Well, as if you watch my videos, you know that I own a heating and air company, and this is my heating and air shirt. As you can see, I have a logo on the back. Pretty much it's basically what I got here uh, on the front. It's just bigger, and it's the logo that I came up with. These shirts that I have are different colors. I have orange. I have, let's see, I have orange, blue, pink, purple, yellow. And I got each one of them colors for a reason. I got the bright yellow because I do sometimes I do commercial work on top of buildings. Instead of wearing a bright orange vest so I will be seen, so I will stick out if somebody comes in that area. Well, this works. So whenever I'm going to do something in commercial and I got to be seen, I wear these, something that is very bright. And I carry different colors in the van because I never know what job I'm going to. I do have some that is gray, which pretty much I wear them if there's no, pretty much no category of reason to wear any particular color. Now, I treat my shirts and what I wear in a way like I treat my thumbnails on YouTube. It's the first thing that people see. Here is my title, which is the business name. And the logo and all that is the thumbnail. That's the first thing that people see. How I dress. That's my thumbnail. Now, when I am not doing heating and air, I'm doing things that I do on this channel, helping other people with SEO and stuff like that, uh, how to make websites, how to set up podcasts, how to edit video for YouTube or Facebook, whichever it may be, or their website. And when I'm out and about with my wife and my kids, out to dinner, whatever, just casual, I wear things like this. Which people see, and I have had a, had as let came talk. I have had people to ask me about YouTube just because I had the shirt on. That's my thumbnail. That got my foot in the door. Now I do have other shirts that I wear when I do uh, social media social media. Meetings, I wear this. And it looks like it got a hole in it, but that's just because it's got green in that area. That is when I have meetings with others consulting about how to get your videos ranked higher on YouTube, which I have videos on this channel that show where I can make a video it's less than six months I do believe I think it's actually less than two or three months and it's ranking on page one for the topic that the title and all is talking about and there are others on that same page I think I'm coming third I do believe third video down from on the page one and the other videos on there have been on there for two three I think one of them is even seven years, five or seven years it's been on there. And I'm ranking higher than that video that's been there that long. And also, business has been picking up. Just 
I put the effort into this business of SEO, uh, which business has been growing since I started this business of SEO, of teaching others, doing uh, speaking engagements and stuff like that, that I put on myself and people have asked me to come to their business to speak to their workers about how to get the business growing on social media. So since it has been growing to the point where I cannot do this all by myself, I have to have a crew to get them to do the footwork to get some things done. So I have a crew now, and this is the shirts that we use. So it is growing quite fast. Just like my heating and air business that I have been doing. Oh, 20 some years. I've been in heat and air for 29 years, a little bit over 29 years now. And I do believe four or five years of that was not my own business. I have to check it, but I think it was like four or five years that I was working for other companies that dealt with different heating and air, air conditioned brands. So I can learn the ins and outs of each brand that was most popular in my area. So when I ventured out on my own, I had experience with not just one brand, but multiple brands that most likely is the ones that I'm going to run into. And it was very successful, and I've been running my business for 20-some years. But since social media has come along, I wanted to teach other people how to use social media as I have been doing to grow my heating and air business. I don't have a big YouTube channel here. But that don't mean that I don't know how to grow a YouTube channel or a business. I have a business, so I have my, not my proof, but my resume per se, showing that I know how to grow a business. I was using things like AOL Instant Messenger sending out information to get leads. I was making websites back then. I was hosting my own websites on my own computers. I had to learn how to, to configure the router and everything else and forwarding of the IP address, how to set up the pages. I mean, all that good stuff. I was hosting my own website. You really didn't need a lot of bandwidth back then because there was not really a lot of bandwidth. It was dial-up, basically, AOL. And I just didn't put a lot of graphics on the website so it would not bog down if a lot of people was getting on there. I set up my own email and stuff within the website. Now, I do have my heating and air channel on YouTube, and I got somewhere around 560,000 views on it right now. And I'm gaining, I get emails each time I get a subscriber. And I'm gaining somewhere from 3 to 10 new subscribers per day consistently. And all I'm doing is uploading three times a week and having a live hangout once a month. So now, since I have that channel pretty much going, and if YouTube changes their AI of looking at different things in different ways, I would have to change that channel. 
But for now, I'm going to leave it like it is. It's still being consistent of growing so many views per month and so many subscribers per day. I'm going to concentrate on this channel to get it growing. And now I am going to start doing more local speaking engagements. Since I have a crew put together now, I can actually get more done. Heating and air, running the business, pretty much takes a lot of my time during the day. I hooked up with a realtor and they have 500, 600 some rental properties that I handle. And that's a task. But I let that business feed financially to this business so I can make a transition from one to the other. Crawling in the attics, underneath homes, I, it's almost 30 years. Now, I want to make that transition to start teaching and showing others how I did it so they can succeed of having their own business as well. How long that will take, I don't know. It's going a lot faster and making a lot of progress in a very short period of time than I expected for it to go, which is nothing but a good thing. I get people to ask me to come to their business, as I mentioned, to do some speaking of how, how to do just little things like how to set up to broadcast live on YouTube so they can actually broadcast on their channel weekly, monthly, or whatever it may be. How to set up a mixer and what microphone to use, what camera to use, what software to use. Just go there, analyze what they have, if they have anything, then talk with them about what exactly do they want to accomplish in the job at hand? Exactly how well do they want to broadcast? Are they going to have one person sitting there in front of the camera? Are they going to have guests? Do they want to talk to people on Skype and bring them in to the live broadcast? Do they want to do pre-recorded uh, shows and put them up? I ask all the questions, then from the answers they give me, I put a package together for them to get started. As I sit here in my studio, which is in my home, I consult people through the internet with Google Hangout without going on air. I do it through Skype, and there's a few others that I know of that I have not tried yet, but that's the main two that I use right now. But my uniform that I wear is not just one kind. I don't wear a three-piece suit. I do have a suit, and from time to time, I do wear it when it's appropriate time and place to wear the suit. Sometimes I wear shorts, and it depends on the situation, the environment of what I'm doing. You've got to set your wardrobe according to what you are actually doing. That's just like if you're up on a stage and doing a speaking engagement. Most likely you're going to have khakis and nice shirt and belt and possibly a hat and a nice set of dress shoes. But on the way getting to the speaking engagement, am I going to wear that? No, I'm going to have nice shorts on and t-shirt or whatever, be comfortable driving or flying to the event. 
So it's got to match what you're doing. So if anyone that's watching this video has any questions about how YouTube works, feel free to ask. I communicate with others that keep up with the new stuff that's going on with YouTube, the AI, and they just rolled out the new look uh, layout for YouTube, which I've been dabbing in for, I would say, a little bit over two months now, just testing it out and find the ins and outs and what features are there, where the old features used to be, where did they move them, what did they delete, or what did they change, what they added. So when they rolled it out, people can come to me and ask, and I try my best to have the answer to the questions they have. I don't know it all because it's always changing, but I try my best to keep up with it. So if you got any questions how to make tags in your videos, descriptions, and um, where to come up with the titles, what title is best for your video that is most searchable in YouTube and on Google, what tools can you use to find that out, what's trending, how to grow your channel, what you can do to grow your channel and subscribers. Just the little things that helps small YouTubers grow with their channel and their brand. Even with big channels, I help them as well. Like how often do I need to upload and how long does the video need to be and um, I've seen so many big channels that don't know anything about how to use tags and what to put in the description. It's just that they their content, they get a fast growing subscribers and then all of a sudden it just slows up. They run out of people to watch. So they ask, you know, what am I doing? What can I do to get my channel moving again and stuff? How to look through the analytics that it will tell you what works and what's not working on your channel. How you can feed on what is working and make more content around that particular idea that the analytics says it's this is working on your channel how can you make more content that's relevant to that content like i said i don't know it all but i know enough to help others and that's what i want to do eventually i'm going to get out of doing heating and air my for myself personally, that don't mean I'm going to close my doors of the heating and air business. I most likely probably will hire somebody when I get this business off the ground enough where I can make the transition myself from heating and air to this full time and let somebody else run the heating and air part. I still be running the business of the heating air, but let somebody else do the the calls, the service calls and stuff. So I can spend more time in doing this, which don't look like it's going to be that long before I can do that. I started this channel back December the 1st of 2016. I did not think I would get where I'm at now in this short period of time. I thought it would take me two years at least to get this channel going and getting responses and results 
of like people texting me or emailing me or instant messaging me for me to help them out. It's a real good feeling when you put content out there and people look at it and feel that it's valuable to them enough for them to contact you to ask for help. And like I say, I don't know at all. Nobody really does. But I tried my best to read up on all the blogs and all the updates of the TOS. I listen to others on YouTube that's doing the same thing. So I, I'm doing everything I can to learn everything possible to stay on top of everything. So I have all the information I can when it comes time to help others. So with that said, if you like to not collaborate, but communicate with each other, to just analyze your channel and see what we can dig into and find and change possibly to make it work better, get up with me. Can't guarantee anything because the AI has a mind of its own. It's, it's learning all the time. But we'll try our best to figure out what it's doing so we can put that in place on your channel so it will escalate it as fast as possible. So do something today that will move you up to that next level. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.